Hello everyone, in this video lecture, we will be discussing the case of Whipple's disease. First, we will discuss some high yield points about the Whipple's disease and then we will move on to the high yield questions. So if you define Whipple's disease, it is defined as a rare systemic disease caused by chronic infection with the gram-positive bacillus called Troferema Whippelii. So guys, basically this is a chronic infection which is caused by a bacterium that is Troferema Whippelii, which is a gram-positive bacterium. And it's a systemic disease, which means that it involves multiple organs. Also, it's a chronic infection. It's a long-term infection. So what is the classic age or demographics of this disease? It classically presents in an older white or Caucasian man with an age of 40 to 60 years. So guys, uh, when these bacteria infect an individual, these bacteria are engulfed by the macrophages and these bacteria then pro proliferate inside the macrophages. These bacteria proliferate inside the macrophages because uh, these bacteria inhibit the formation of phagolysosomes and they also inhibit uh, antigen presentation by the macrophage. This allows them to proliferate uh, inside the macrophages with uh, minimal or no immune response. So what are the clinical features of the disease? If you talk about the clinical features of the disease, uh, these are based on the affected organs. So uh, the disease mainly affects the small intestine where it causes abdominal pain, diarrhea, fat malabsorption leading to greasy stools or steatoria. And uh, it also, uh, this disease also affects uh, the CNS leading to dementia, seizures, or encephalitis. This disease also involves the joints leading to uh, joint pain or arthralgia. This disease can also affect the heart leading to endocarditis or pericarditis. So guys, diagnosis of the disease is made by the biopsy of the small intestine followed by histopathology. So the histopathology after the biopsy of the small intestine shows PAS positive foamy macrophages in the lamina propria. So guys, uh, what do you see in the histopathology? You simply see distended macrophages, which look uh, foamy or distended. And these are positive for the stain that is periodic acid schist stain. These macrophages are found in the lamina propria. These are distended because uh, of uh, the proliferation of uh, the Troferema whippelii in uh, these cells. And this is the classic uh, histological feature of uh, the Whipple's disease. What is the treatment of the disease? The treatment of the disease is the long-term antibiotic therapy for greater than 12 months. And this therapy is usually successful in resolving the symptoms, however relapses may occur. So guys, as you all know that this is a chronic infection and uh, the bacteria are inside the macrophages. So you need a very long uh, term antibiotic therapy to kill all the bacteria and resolve the symptoms. Let's discuss uh, some high yield questions regarding the Whipple's disease. Let's discuss some high yield questions regarding the Whipple's disease. A 48-year-old Caucasian man comes to the OPD due to abdominal pain and diarrhea. The symptoms began 8 months back and he has now developed significant weight loss. So guys, uh, it's a classic uh, picture of uh, the Whipple's disease. As there is a 48-year-old Caucasian male with abdominal pain, diarrhea, and there is significant weight loss. So this is suggestive of what? The Whipple's disease. We can also see that uh, the intestinal biopsy is performed and periodic acid shift stained section is shown in the image below. So in the image below, uh, which is the uh, staining uh, of uh, the specimen with the PS stain, it shows uh, PS positive foamy macrophages. So this is a classic uh, case of uh, Whipple's disease. The patient's symptoms are most commonly due to the answer is chronic bacterial infection because the Whipple's disease is the chronic bacterial infection. So guys, this is a two-step question. 
the question two, uh, which is the second step of the first question, states that this disease also presents with greasy stools due to fat malabsorption. What is the best explanation for the fat malabsorption in this case? So guys, you should know that the fat malabsorption in uh, the Whipple's disease occurs due to the blockage of lymphatic channels due to the buildup of infected macrophages. So as we all know that macrophages are infected with the bacteria and uh, when these uh, macrophages they enter the lymphatic channels they are distended and too many macrophages can block the lymphatic uh, channels leading to the fat malabsorption. As you all know that fats are absorbed in uh, the lacteals which are the lymph vessels in the villi so these can be blocked leading to fat malabsorption and this uh, fat malabsorption leads to the greasy stools or the steatoria and also uh, abdominal pain and diarrhea which eventually in the long term leads to the weight loss let's move to the question number three a 46 year old man comes to the opd due to six months history of uh, abdominal pain and greasy stools he has lost six kgs in the past six months the patient has pain in the knee and wrist joints duodenal biopsies performed microscopic examination shows ps positive distended macrophages in the lamina propria which of the following is an appropriate treatment for this disease so guys we can see over here that uh, there's a 46-year-old uh, man, six-month history of abdominal pain and greasy stools, uh, weight loss, arthralgias, which are the pain in the knee and the wrist joints, and PAS positive uh, distended macrophages in the lamina propria. So this is a classic case of Whipple's disease. And what is the appropriate what is the appropriate treatment for the disease? As you all know, that the appropriate treatment for the disease is the antibiotic. So antibiotic therapy, long term antibiotic th therapy for uh, usually greater than twelve months is helpful in resolving the symptoms. Thank you so much for watching.